coming up in this episode. Today is first day of play school. It's a big moment, isn't it? When we put these pipes in originally, we also used it to create a channel for the water to flow off of the cliff that comes down the road. And as you well know, it didn't work. How's my two favourite people? It looks like we've got our first tomato. There it is. Oh yeah, that's juicy. Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm Lewis. Hi, I'm Leo. And, and this, this is Faye. Faye. Join the Bye family as we up sticks and reroute from the hustle and bustle of the UK to a more simplistic life in Bulgaria. Watch as we learn, grow, fail, succeed and everything in between from Bournemouth to Bulgaria Right, there you go, I'm videoing. Okay. You can use this as like a speedy up there, or you can talk. Talking's great though, it gives me content, you know? Yeah, got to love that content. Yeah. What are you doing today? So we're finally going to paint all of this. Leave them alone. I'm just trying to help his mum. Um, yeah, finally painting the doors and the windows. But, sorry, take two. We're going to finally paint the doors and the windows on either side of the annex. Lou has asked a neighbour to repair the glass because it's broken and he's fixed most of the roof. Um, so yeah, these buildings are pretty much, we can use them once they look cute and have another clean and things like that. So I'm really excited to get this done. I'm going to scrape off the majority, but I'm not going too pristine. There's no need. No need for it. So yeah, the windows need fixing as well, but that's not me, I'm just on decorating committee. Who's on window fixing committee then? Yeah. <laughs> With the help of my trusty pal. Look at this, I'm ready. Oh! <laughs> that's satisfying, isn't it? So Lou said this heat gun was not worth bringing, but this was all dead, so wobbly, but this is dry and it's really hard to remove, so I'm hoping that the glue gun melts the glue and makes it easier for me to peel all of this off. Camera is so terrible. Yeah. Today is first day of play school. Uh, okay. Come on, Mama. Oh, In the village. I'm scared. It's a big moment, isn't it? We're going to hide. Come on, 
they are in. Press the doorbell. Is it this one? Or yeah, does it, I don't know if you go round or not. Maybe go round. I can't video because they're all the other kids. Hey everybody, if you're enjoying this episode, don't forget to leave us a little comment, like and subscribe. Another day, another problem to solve, as always. So I'm sure you guys remember when we put these pipes in originally, we also used it to create a channel for the water to flow off of the cliff that comes down the road. And as you well know, it didn't work. And the reason it didn't work is that it was just getting too clogged up. The design just isn't correct. So we're going to change it and we're going to turn it into more of a, a functional drain rather than like a gravel drain. We're going to turn it into a, a big kind of open drain. I don't even know how to describe it. Just there's going to be more. It's just going to allow for more volume to fall into it and flow off. And essentially, I'm going to pull the cage back. That's on the end. There's like a mesh on the end of the drain. I'm going to pull that back further in. And then we're going to have just one big drain cover on there that just allows a heck of a lot of water to fall down and off the cliff. So I've kind of got to dig a lot of stuff out. So I'm going to show you what I've got to dig out. So I've got to dig out all of this and then I'm going to put cement in there and just have a big channel that flows straight off the cliff. You can see just how destructive the water that comes down here has been. You can see how much it deposits of dirt and sediment. So the drain cover I'm going to have to be able to lift up, clean out now and again, I'm sure. And also you can see up here, it's starting to carve away our road which none of this was here before but it really is quite deep uh, it's doing it here it's also doing it here as well and eventually that's going to be quite bad so i've got i'm going to fill this up with some cement as well just to try and stay on top of everything and uh yeah just another job that's getting in the way of all the other jobs that we need to do so i'm going to crack on and get to it so much has grown already when it rains here, everything just grows. It's crazy. But you can see how full this is. Shouldn't be like this. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. All of this needs to be pulled out. That on the end needs to come out. Pull that back to here. Hold the gravel in. All of this will be open straight off the cliff. And that should help things out a lot better. Put a nice concrete base in. Hi. Hi. Bye. <laughs> George's off on a dog walk. What is all this freedom, George? Dog walks, working. I don't understand it all. So, uh, Faye's gone to play school today and uh, we've got a bit more freedom. This is our first day at play school. And uh, yeah, it's a bit weird. It's not normal for us. Two years solid with her. It's a bit crazy. But it's necessary. No, it's necessary. I don't tell her that, but we need the spare time. Kindergarten here is free. Uh, they start from the age of two and it's in our village, which is great. So it's literally just around the corner. It takes us, you know, five minutes, five minutes to, to walk there. So yeah, it's, it's quite incredible. It's really going to free up a lot of time for us. And uh, my God, do we need it. That's what we found on the land. So, I mean, it looks perfect. It's bowed and that's probably gonna be my biggest obstacle. It's not flat. It's not going on anything that is flat. So, yeah, we'll see. See how it goes. It's back. Back to working in the hot again. And, uh, oh man, it's tough. I know this isn't peak summer, so certainly won't be doing this stuff in the summer. So I say, I'm trying to make sure that I don't do this again in the summer when I'm outside. Um, I'll show you what I've done. So, I mean, you can see now that I've cemented that into the ground. It's below ground level, which was the important part. Originally it was sitting quite above, uh, but now it's sitting below, so that's good. And yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's pretty it's bent as a roundabout, but... I've run out of cement, so there's a couple of areas where I can't cement it in, like just over here on this corner. 
and uh, I'd like to go around it a little bit more but for now it'll be in the ground and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this edge here and I'm just going to cut it off along there uh, with an angle grinder but I've got to go and buy a disc but that's in the ground and I'll tell you what that'll do and how's that for upcycling eh that really should do a lot better now um, once I cut it off it'll still be easy to get in there and clean it when it does get a little bit full I'm sure which I'm sure it will do I'm sure you know it's going to need maintenance for when the storms come but that'll do how's my two favorite people yeah what do we think of the hammock yeah good addition to the to the farm yeah what do you think Fei? yeah good comments i like those comments silence speaks volumes Hey everyone, if you didn't know, we do have a Patreon members platform. If you didn't know, now you do know. Now we do put a lot of effort into adding new content on here. And most recently, we've actually added a couple of new categories. We now answer Patreon members' questions directly in our YouTube videos via our members' Q&A section, where we pick a person at random. Additionally, you can also get early access, and you'll be able to watch our YouTube videos 72 hours before they air on YouTube. Not only this, but another perk is that they're completely ad free. We do have other categories as well, like our what would you do videos and our unseen footage videos, where the things that didn't quite make the episode for whatever reason, get brought back to life by being put onto our Patreon. So you wouldn't see these things anywhere else. So that's pretty cool. We do have another new category now where we upload a sneak peek of what's to come in the future. And did you actually know you can join for free as well? That's right, you can join for free and you do have access to some stuff as a free member. But if you want all the perks, you will have to sign up as a paid member. I just want to take a moment to say thank you to the people who do subscribe to our Patreon. We are so grateful. Your support does not go unnoticed. If you want to join our Patreon, there'll be a link down below in the description. Oh. Okay, so I've been sanding the doors. It gets quite addictive. Like you want to get down to like the blue layer, but it's so hard. It's going to take me forever and lose right. I'm just going to lose momentum. So I've got majority off. I'm just going to go over and sand it all. See how it looks. So now I have finished the front. It's all right. You know, it's okay, it's smooth. We're not gonna spend too much time on it. Like, it's fine. Okay, so it's now time to paint. I've done all I can. I'm fed up, I'm bored. So yeah, I've got these brushes, which I got from England in Audi, obviously, and they're just so new and fresh. So yeah, I'm excited about that. And then we've got the color, green. We actually bought this months ago, but we haven't used it. But yeah, I've always wanted like a green greenhouse. So I'm gonna paint these green. Let's open it. Do I have to shake it? No, I'm sure I'll be fine. Can I open it with this? Oh my God, I look so professional. Oh my God. What's that meant to happen? now. Was it meant to do that? I've never had paint do that before. <laughs> Let's get the lid. Does that look like the colour on the front? No. But I like it. It's cute. That's stud. Oh, oh, let's go. So first things first, I'm going to spend six hours masking taping so I don't get any on the glass. Jokes. <laughs> Let's get it on. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Really watery? Is it meant to be watery? Do you think our paint's gone bad? Because we've left it so long. Let's just see what happens. I don't know, this is what you call me. Wow. That was very anticlimactic, wasn't it? I think my paint's broken. What am I gonna need? 70 coats? <laughs> yeah, not good. 
understand why it's so watery. That's, I'm literally so upset right now. I thought this was going to be like gloss. And it's not. And it's just looking flat. <sighs> Why is this place so hard? <laughs> what I'm going to do is just focus on this patch. And then I can show Lou, look, this is how crap it's going to be. Oh, I spent all that time really looking forward to painting. And now you, can't, you can see all the paint underneath. Like a stain almost. I can't even nip to Wilco and get a different one. I'm so upset. Come look. Uh? Come look. Look at it. Well, yeah, you've got to do two coats. Two coats? Yeah, maybe two or three. It's like a stain, it's not like a gloss. Oh, what, it's not paint? No, look, it's water. Oh, shit. Have you stirred it properly? Yes. Stirred it for, like, loads of time. What does it say on there? It's in Bulgarian. How can I read it? Oh. Do you know what I mean? It's not, like, thick. It needs, like, a white or something, like a emulsion. Let's have a look. And when I took the lid off... Enamel, it, it says. I think it's for, like, not this. Just have to let it dry and then paint it. You can just do a pat. But no, but look, it's like, and I haven't taken the, if it was all just back to normal wood, then yeah, it'd be fine, but it's not. Um. I'm going to put all Oh no, but we'll just have to buy some different paint. That's annoying. I think it would be all right if it was just all on, like, taken back to natural wood. Yeah, you're never going to do that. I'm never going to do that. That's it. Bit of an anti-climax, isn't it? And the lid flew off and nearly hit me in the face. Like, exploded. I'm really surprised at that. No, but I was doing this, yeah, with the thing, and then it went poof, and literally exploded. Oh. And the tin went poof. Well, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Do you reckon it's, like, gone off? That's what I said. Do you think it's got hot and, like, melted? You've stirred it well, yeah? Yeah. I can't stir it anymore. It looks like paint, though. Yeah, but look. So watery. Oh, yeah. Do you need to put some flour in it? Maybe, maybe look at how home remedy is to make him paint thicker. That's what I'm thinking. Don't, no, 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 no. Like, just ruin one patch at a time, yeah? Alright, yeah. Aww. I actually really try my hardest on that. And I, like, did so well. This is why I don't DIY anymore. We'll get you some paint, just not today. So I'm not going to swing around and back three times in one day. Could you go to the village shop? They don't. Uh... No, that other shop and see if they've got like a white gloss, yeah, that I can add this paint to. Find out, stop recording and find out what that paint is. Okay, so I do this dog walk every day, have done for the past year, and I'm always here with my little app and I'm taking photos of things, just like um, the plant identifier app. So I try to find things that, you know, I wouldn't really know, but it's like the best part of my day. I'm not with the kids. I'm just out in nature with the dogs. The other day I was here and I was like, what is that in the distance glowing up orange? and it was a mushroom and i risked life and limb for this mushroom because it is not easy to get to but i took some photos of it and lou sent it to some people when we did some research because you have to be very careful and we found out that it is actually chicken of the woods so i don't know if some of you are aware but i don't eat meat leo doesn't eat meat and you can make like chicken nuggets out of it. Well, not chicken nuggets. So I'm gonna go again <laughs> to get it. I'm gonna take some and we're gonna see. 
if it's okay. It is back here somewhere. See that big tree there? I think it's on there somewhere. It's not easy to get to because all of this is stinging nettles. I went round the last time, but it is so steep and it was wet and slippery. So I'm not really sure what to do. But we're gonna go for it and we're gonna try. I'm gonna try to get some. Wish me luck. There it is. I see her. Okay, here she is. She's definitely looking a lot drier. A lot drier than the last time I was here, but it has been so hot. Not looking so appealing. Look how huge that is though. Look at that. Massive. Yeah. Well, you're gonna, I'm gonna wash it, you know. So I'm sure it'll be fine. I've got my basket. Right, guys, can we just calm down here? Yeah. I'm all excited. Oh, I'm scared. Watch it not be chicken because it's going to put toxic and then we'll die. Okay. I'm going for it. My nice mushroom. So they say to leave like 15 or 20%, so I'm not going to take a lot because I want to like, you know, preserve. The ants are enjoying it. You know, so I feel like that's got to be a good sign. Okay, I feel like that's a good amount to leave. Got a basket full of mushrooms. I also brought a little, a little shovel because there's some like fresh wild parsley or something, but it's so pretty. I wanted to get some, but it's hot already at ten in the morning. I want to get my mushrooms back to Luke. See what he says. Oh, so yeah do that hopefully he's happy i was just thinking like sometimes i think it's important to think about how far we've got you know who would have thought this was my life foraging for mushrooms in the forest with my little basket you know like how adorable am i so yeah it's nice hot but it's nice there's loads of woods around here and I really want to explore more, but that's enough for today. Let's go. Oh, what am I saying? I don't know. What are you doing? What have you done? Nothing yet. I've just chopped... Here. Yeah. So I've just chopped some of these mushrooms up and I'm going to turn them into like little chicken nuggets. I love how like we find mushrooms. I was thinking this earlier. I was like, oh, nuggets. Find mushrooms and you think, oh, healthy. We're like, no, nuggets. Nuggets, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so talk us through what you've done with them. So we've got some breadcrumbs, some salt, Looks pepper. like KFC. I know. Something you eat chicken, goodness. you don't get to enjoy this. I do. <laughs> yeah, just breadcrumbs, flour, salt, pepper, and then just shall I fry them. Okay. That's what I've done, so. Are you scared? This one, I'm going to give, I feel like I'm going to give this one to you. Oh no, is it the worst one? No, it's just, it feels, you know, it doesn't matter which, pick any. Okay. This one's yours. We're not gonna die. I don't know. If it tastes good, it must be okay for you. You ready? Three, two, one. Good to up. Still mushroom me. I think that tastes great. Watch and be like pure psychedelic. <laughs> 20 minutes later. <laughs> pure death. Well, we're only meant to eat a little bit though, right? I've done too much now. I'm not going to eat all that. What if it doesn't agree with me? How long do you have to give it? Nothing. It tastes good. It's good. Please agree with me. <laughs> Nothing's all right. Why? You put so much mayo on a plate. No wonder we go through it so much. She never does it. Moan Let's take a stroll down to my favourite tree on all the land, the walnut tree. Love this tree. I'll sit on this swing and see if it will support my weight. Oh, it does. It's great to be a kid again. I'm sure by now all of you are aware that we have a PayPal donation link and we also have the ability to accept super thanks here on YouTube. For us, either one 
it's perfectly acceptable. It really doesn't matter which one you do. And we do appreciate the fact that people take their hard earned money and they donate it towards our channel. It still blows our mind that so many people are invested in seeing us succeed here and also that so many people are interested in our channel and the content that we bring you guys. So we're taking this opportunity to say thank you to all the people that do donate, all the people that do support us. You guys are great. And all you guys that follow us, that subscribe to our channel, that donate, you're all awesome. We love you all. Yeah, we were gonna, we, this was gonna be our house. Before we were gonna move into the big house, we were gonna fix this up first, because we thought it was too much work. Get out of here. Come on. Right, listen, listen let's focus, okay? Let's focus, all right? Good. Right. Morning. Morning. Day three, and I've got a helper today. Leo's gonna help me. So, do you wanna say what we're doing? Oh, um, I th yeah, we're gonna paint the doors so they get another coat. Yeah. Cause <laughs> this it don't, it isn't hiding it. So we're gonna redo all this. Like give it, give it another coat and down there. And the back. Yeah, and the back. Okay. Let's get to it. Do you want the big brush or the little brush? Big brush, baby. Okay. Cheers. Welcome to the real world. The no. better verse. <laughs> no. You just said this was fun a minute ago. Are you changing your mind? You shush and help your mum. Oh. I've got that on camera. Oh. I'm posting that on YouTube. Nah. Yeah. Please don't. I'd ruin my career. <laughs> One fart ruined this man's career. <laughs> Are you happy? Um, yeah. Show your excitement then. No, I am. <laughs> I, I am really happy, but I just feel like it's annoying me that, like, see round the top, I want to go along and scrape all that off, which I should have done at the start, but I didn't. <laughs> yeah, you can't do it when it's wet. I can't it? do it when it's wet. I tried. <laughs> but no, I'm so, I'm so happy. Like, doesn't it look better? Looks great. I'm happy with friends for some reason. I don't mm. know why. Looks great, I love it. Great colour. Yeah, we're silicone those windows and uh Yeah. They look lovely. So happy it's done. Oh, yeah. On to the windows. Yeah, I'm not gonna spend as much time. No. No. The windows do look bad though. Yeah, they're your windows, I think you're in those. <laughs> no, you have to do it all. No, the windows are bad. No, but like I went round with the, one of those drawers and scraped it off back to bare nothing. And there's just no point. Like, just scrape off as much as you can, quick sand, paint on. I'm excited to see you start working on those windows, girl. Okay. Get Dover Mirror over here to replace them all. Because yeah. these ones aren't looking so tidy, are they? Agility. Yeah, that is absolutely lethal. How is that? That's, a, that's holding on life as well. It should well should be taken out, that. <laughs> holding on to life as well as you are. <laughs> By a single nail. Yeah. This is just my last bit of patience here. If that was gone, it's game over. <laughs> Are the online jobs based in the UK or Bulgaria? And do you have to pay two lots of tax? And the answer to your question is no. You don't have to pay two lots of tax. That would be criminal. Although tax is criminal. So wherever you reside is where you pay tax. And that's all you really have to worry about. Where are you living? And the tax processes are exactly the same, whether you're in England or in Bulgaria. Although I have a feeling here you have to file your assessment in March rather than January. Don't quote me on that though, because I'm not entirely sure. Because we're very new to working online and, and going through the Bulgarian tax system. So I'm not here to give you advice on that yet. But one day I will be able to. I honestly... I cannot get over how much work goes into gardening. Like, I kind of feel like we've made more work for ourselves at the moment, but 
things have been so difficult because where we didn't do roundup in the ground and put some weed killer down at the in the winter it's really just shot us in the foot like trying to stay on top of the grass coming back through because obviously you keep water in the ground and the weeds keep coming up and the weeds i don't know if it would have killed all the weeds because i think weeds are something you kind of just pick out but the grass is just a killer it makes it look horrible it's it's so difficult to get get out of the ground and yeah i definitely regret not putting roundup on or having not known to have done that um but yeah it does make things difficult i've spent all day today all day just going through the patches picking out bits of grass turning over soil where i can to pick out more grass i wish i would kind of done a before video because you would have seen how bad some of these areas were this is one area that i had to turn over because there was so much grass in all of our, our courgettes all through here all through the mint you can still see here even now how much grass is still kind of coming through the parsley and uh, i've still got to come through here and sort that out you can see in the potatoes the grass coming through the potatoes um and it, you know absolutely savage in between the onions i've still got to go in between the onions and pick out stuff here you can see i just laid some so we had a patch where i chucked some seedlings down for onions and i've just put some new baby baby onions these are from seed that i grew and uh just planted them in the ground from the ones that we've taken out a lot of these ones here these onions have gone to seed doesn't mean they're bad you can still eat them but they probably won't keep growing at this point um in terms of size size of their bulb they kind of stop producing energy towards the bulb and they start producing energy towards producing a seed but i don't mind having some seeds and the bulb's still okay-ish so we can use them they're big enough for now this was radishes so the radishes would be directly in the ground now this is covered in weeds this just shows you how many weeds are in here absolutely loads but i've just let them go to seed because that's where they they all bolted up and these little pods will turn into seed and uh we'll keep the seed and then we can keep replanting them i've picked through some of the parsnips today we pulled some peas out of the ground you can see the pile of grass here that i've hoed out of the channels hoed out of that channel hoed out of that channel and just piled it up here these celeriacs are going to go over to where the peas were and i'm going to put them in rows because they're too bunched up together and they're not going to grow very well because they grow quite big so these are all from seed and now i can move them that'll be a tomorrow job all of these carrots are going to stay as they are but i still got to go around and pick some bits out of here so you can see here look this isn't a carrot it's just long grass and uh these onions i did today pulled all the grass out of these they looked awful um broccoli also did also did radishes and we also did the peas as well but honestly it's just an understatement how overwhelming it is when there's grass in the ground where you're growing raised beds would have been a great idea but unfortunately we couldn't afford to do that uh it's taken me currently about 30 minutes to water the garden in the evening which is quite a long time i think and it'd be nice to get some systems where they've got like the irrigation is it irrigation systems where they have the pipes lying down and watering all the all the stuff that would be great but obviously it's not a this year thing so hopefully next year we can kind of i think it makes sense to have growing the garden first understand how kind of you would lay it out what you would do differently and then next year you'll kind of know where to lay things a little bit better in terms of like the irrigation system and you know i don't know it's all a learning curve everything's a learning curve i'm hoping next year is going to be a lot easier but yeah, the weed removal and the grass removal is is battering me, battering me. No joke, no word of a lie, all day in the garden, just picking out grass and weeds. Oh, Jesus. On another note, though, it looks like we've got our first tomato, which I am buzzing about from our plum plants. So I'm going to go and pick, we've got two by the looks of it, so I'm going to pick them. One's a little small one, one's a a, a bigger one. But if we don't pick them, then they're just draining energy and something else might eat them. So best pick them off and uh, take them in the house. And I think I'm going to eat the little one, you know. I am. I'm going to eat it. After all my labour, I'm going to eat it. There it is. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's juicy. 
It's the second one. This is the one I'm going to go eat. I'll give it a wash first, but... Oh, yeah. That's juicy. Oh, how amazing. How absolutely fantastic. I'm buzzing about that. Next time on From Bournemouth to Bulgaria... We've got Greg here from England. He's come here. He's come to help out. You're getting stuck straight in the deep end, isn't he? See you later, mate. Do it. Now I'm just going to do the same with the mint, going to just start cutting it off like this. Like this. Oh yeah. There we go. And that bunches them all together. And then I can just tie that over. Last time we did it in the curtain rails in our house. And um, we just tried it in the house, but it made the house smell amazing. <laughs> <laughs>